we want to sit in. We'll, go, we'll go ahead and take his cuffs off. Yeah. I got an extra one, but I need oh, I a small one. Yeah. No, I don't have it. No, I got the small one. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I have. Mm -hmm. I had it. Okay, I'll use this. That's fine. It's my spare. Can you like leave forward? There you go. It makes it better. It's hard to get to those, yeah. those holes in there, so I know that's not comfortable by any means. Um, I got tired of buying new handcuffs too. I think I lost two in the last in the last two months. I said, you know what? No more. Yeah. They were hinge cuffs too. How'd, How'd you lose them? Letting them out to people. I'll give them right yeah. back. And then they didn't weren't. And I'm just waiting till they come back into the system. Right. Come back around my way. I Me, mean, I'm the guy that always returns them. Right, right. Paul, oh, put your hands on your head. I got to pat you down. Yes, sir. Work, okay. I'm okay. Spread your legs for me. Do you have anything in your pockets? That... No, I think uh, they got it all. Okay. I have his hat and uh, some loose items in my trunk. I'll go get them. Okay. I just want to. Just our policy. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Okay. Will you do me a favor? I'm going to have you take that apron off, okay. too. Just to kind of get it right there. I'll say it right here. You can go ahead and have a seat for me real quick. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, sir. You need a water or anything? Uh, I'll take some water. water. Okay, yep. Give me one second. Uh, uh, would it be possible to use the restroom? Yeah, give me one second. Let me get okay. my partner real quick and we'll yes, walk you over there, okay? No problem. Yep, no problem.
I'll be right outside. Just knock if you need anything, okay? Yes, Just give me a couple minutes. Okay.
Hey, man. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. You remember me from the other day? Yes, Detective sir. Reeves? Okay. Um, this is my partner, Detective Saley. She was uh, interviewing some of the other folks, waiters and other staff people the other day, so she didn't get a chance to come in at the time. Um, I wanted to talk to you, or actually, we wanted to. You want some more water? Uh, please. Actually, yeah, would it be all right to use the restroom one more yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Come on. You bet. I'll walk out there. All right. Thank you. Grab, uh, hold on one second. Let me grab some. No we'll, we'll go. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Neil. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah. Okay. Come on. You want some water? Ah, uh, please. Because you're all right. Like I said, I want to kind of go over some stuff. I know we talked the other day just for a few minutes and I had some concerns about a couple things. And, um, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Anybody else want to talk? There we go. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Savannah. So I just had a couple of things that came up that I wanted to ask you about specifically that didn't didn't seem to line up. So I wanted to yes, come down and talk to you. Okay? Yeah. All right? I, uh um, so uh, let's get a, just a couple. Just make sure I've got your basic information. It's Lee, and ha tell me how you pronounce your last name. Rodarte. Rodarte. Okay, and that's R O D A R T E. Yeah. Right, and it's 1081 Halifax Road, yep. Jacksonville. What's the zip there? Uh, three two two one six. Three two two one six. Okay. Uh, date of birth is eight eleven of eighty eight. Yep. And five eleven. Yeah. Okay. And what's your uh, approximate weight? Um, I've spent a while since I weighed myself, but uh, probably about 163, something like that. 163? Okay. And what color eyes do you have? Brown. Brown. Hair is? Brown. Brown. Um, and what's your phone number? 904. Okay. 452. 452. Yes, sir? 6094. 6094. Okay. Just make sure I have that. And white male, how old are you? Um, 28. 
28. And can you read and write? Yes. What's the last school you went to? Um, Forest High School. Oh, yeah. Before it was renamed. Yeah, yeah. When did you graduate from there? 06. Okay. 2006. All right. And you can read and write. Have you had, um, uh, have you drank any alcohol today? Any drugs today? Um, I took in Adderall that my buddy gave me. Okay. Because I was there so late last night. I yeah, came yeah. And I was super tired. Like, here, take this. Okay. Adderall? Yeah. And do you normally take that? No, nah, I was, uh, I've taken one a long time ago. Like, okay. I wouldn't say high school, a little bit after high school, but it's been years. Okay. Yeah. Um, but nothing to drink alcohol wise? No. Okay. And how, about what time do you think you took Adderall? Uh, it was probably 12 ish. Like noon? Yeah. Okay. And do you understand what I'm saying, though? Yeah. Being able to communicate, yes, okay, nothing, it didn't, you know, make no. you not be able to. Okay, yeah. And no alcohol. You said you can read and write? Just yes. perfect. Awesome. Uh, I want to ask you some questions, but I want to go over your, your rights. We are currently at 501 East Bay Street, which is the Police Memorial Building. Today is August the 5th, 2017, and it's approximately 7.15. Make sure I've got that. Yep. So we'll say 7.15 p.m., give or take. Um, can you, will you read that, just that top line to me? Yeah, the following rights under the United States Constitution. Perfect. I'll read these with you and you can just kind of follow. Um, you do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and to have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before any questioning if you if you wish. If you do answer questions, you also have the right to stop answering those questions at any time and consult with your attorney or with a lawyer. Do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. You just sign there that you understand them. That isn't admitting or not saying anything, it's just saying you understand those rights. Okay. Perfect. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, Savannah, you said that you knew her and you guys had, um, you knew her from work. I mean, just kind of fill me in with that. How long have you known her? Um, like I said, I've known her obviously since she worked, since she started working there. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say probably about eight months ago yeah. or so, we started hanging out outside of work. Um, and at the time I had a girlfriend, um, but kind of you know we kind of connected me and savannah so we hung out a little bit here and there um got pretty close uh we come from i guess somewhat similar um backgrounds i guess you should say okay um you know she didn't have it the best come growing up neither did i uh, so we kind of connected and hung out for a little while uh I'd probably say a period of two three months okay um, and then she started using uh, drugs okay. a lot okay now I used them with her uh, not the same drugs that she used all the time okay. um, but I did them with her a couple times and then she started to get heavy into them and oh gotcha okay um, so I kind of just uh, tried to take a step back and you know put things off um, and after that um, me and my ex started kind of chit-chatting again okay um, you know and who's that what's her name her name's Chelsea okay All right. um, so we kind of started chit-chatting again never really 100% because obviously you know she was still kind of upset about uh, me hanging out with Savannah and stuff okay. like that um, and then probably a month or so ago, mm -hmm. um, uh, I saw Savannah at work and she looked healthy again, you know, she gained a little bit of weight okay. and uh, just, you know, friendly talk at work, you know, telling her, you know, hope everything's been good and she told me, you know, that I guess she uh, did a lot of drugs and ended up in the hospital and she ended up missing like, uh, I want to say a couple of days, three or four days from work. Oh, okay. Um, so obviously, you know, me being pretty close to her, I was concerned and everything. But after she came back, you know, she looked good. And she ended up telling me that, I guess, uh, you know, over those four days, she detoxed pretty well. And she kind of caught a, you know, new 
sense into why she shouldn't do so drugs so good for her. so much. Okay. Yeah. Um, and like I said, she looked good. You know, she started looking healthy. So uh, we kind of were talking, you know, here and there. We hung out a couple times. Um, she came over to the house, and you know, we just kick back, drink a couple beers, watch movies, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then as we hung out, you know, after a couple of times, she brought drugs over. Um, mm -hmm. And I told her, I was like, you know, you're doing really good. You can't, you know, you shouldn't be doing it again. You're finally gaining weight. Because when we were together the first time, she was, you know, she got really petite and okay. just didn't look well, um, which is kind of why I took a step back. Plus, uh, my father used a lot of drugs growing up, and my mother used a lot of drugs growing up, okay. and it was just kind of a hard thing to see, you know, every time that we hung out. Okay. Like I said, we did, you know, uh, we took like some pain pills here and there mm -hmm. on occasion, but then she started like bringing heroin over and stuff oh, like gotcha. that, and okay. that's, you know, uh, my mom was addicted to methamphetamines when she was... Uh, when I was younger, so okay. the those hard like hard drugs just kind of scare me a little bit. So that's why I took a step back the first time, okay. and then I, I felt like she was better, you know, as we hung out recently. Um, and she brought drugs over to my house the last time that we hung out. Okay. And uh, we would text here and there. I would ask her how she's doing, you know, hope her day's going good. Just because I told her when she left the last time that we hung out, I was like, you know. You're doing really well. Stop doing this. You know you can yeah. do it. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and I heard that she just kept, you know, was doing the same thing. Okay. Um, so we text a couple of times, and I ended up telling her I was like, hey, you know, uh, for one, I'm dealing with a lot of personal stuff myself right now as it is. You know, I'm a little depressed. Um, but I think we're moving too fast. I think we should you know, stop talking, okay. um, and she said, I understand, it's completely fine, no problem, you know, uh, she said, I'll delete your number, I'll never text you again, okay. and I said the same, I was like, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, try to jump back into things, I just, it, I think we moved too fast, um, and I said I wouldn't text her either, just to, you know, kind of split yeah, mutual ways, right. yeah. yeah, no worries, okay, um, and that was the last time that we text. Okay. When was that? Yeah. When was that? Uh, it was probably a couple, two or three weeks ago. Okay. okay. Sometime in July. Right, right. Yeah, and th I think that's one of the things you said was that was the last time that you had contact with her yes. as far as, I don't want to put words in your mouth, so, I mean, you, you correct me. That was the last time. time that I texted her. Yeah, text or a phone call or a messenger yeah. or anything like that. Two to three weeks ago. Yeah, okay. And, um... And then the last time, when was the last time you saw her? This is what I was a bit, I didn't tell you the truth, when we talked about Bone Fish. Okay. The last time I saw her was Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Um, I heard that she has been basically telling a lot of people at work that um, we hooked up a bunch, like a couple of days before that. Yeah. And that she was going to like tell about the whole situation, and, you know, try to get me fired. And and why like why that. would that get you fired? I, I, I well, I don't I'm a manager and she's an employee. So okay, I mean, it's, so it's you guys a, aren't supposed to fraternize. Yeah. Or, okay, I got gotcha. you. And she just told um, uh, people, I guess, that she was out with that work at the restaurant that we were having sex. Okay. And you know, hooking up and stuff like that, and that I was her boyfriend and this and that. Um. So I was a little upset. Obviously, you know, I care about my job. Sure. Um, How long have you been there now? Uh, I'll be five years in the summer. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, so I was a little upset. Um, so I met her in the parking lot uh, at Bonefish. When's this? Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Well, do you know what time or about? Um, it was about 5.30. Okay. When you say you met her, did she was she meeting you too? Or? Um... I didn't. Yeah, how, I didn't. I didn't call her. Okay. Um, I just drove up there to see if maybe she was working. I was okay. gonna, you know, talk to her. And um, did you as know I was, she was working that night? Um, I did. You did not. I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, you knew she was working that. Yeah. Night. Okay. So I drove up there and I was hoping to get a chance to talk to her. Okay. Um, 
I pulled in the parking lot. She pulled in a um, little bit after me. I parked, uh, and I said, hey, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Um, and she said, yeah, what's up? And I was like, I heard you've been saying some things about me and you continuing to hang out and, you know, that we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And she, was, she asked me, she said, can I come sit in the car? Because I just did some heroin and I'm a little paranoid. Okay. I said, why are you doing that? You know, you're doing really well. You shouldn't have been doing that. Okay. Um, and so she came and sat in the car and I explained to her the situation. I told her that servers uh, at Bonefish were coming to me and telling me that you're telling people when you're out that we're still having sex and we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And I said, I would appreciate, you know, I need you to stop because for one, it's jeopardizing my job. We agreed to, you know, split, stop talking mutually and just move on mm -hmm. and, you know, be cordial or whatever. Um, but it was nothing more than that. And she said, I'm going to do what I want. Uh, you can believe what you want. I didn't tell anybody anything. And I told her, I said, the girl that you were out with told Chelsea that we were still having sex and that you were just at my house like yesterday and hanging out. And the girl that she was out with when? That Savannah was out with a couple nights prior. Okay, gotcha. Um, I guess uh, at one of the bars okay. in Mandarin. And who was that? Fish. The girl that yeah. she was with, yeah. uh, her name was Rachel. Rachel, okay. Yeah. And Rachel told Chelsea, Chelsea that Savannah was saying that, because uh, me and Chelsea talk, you know, we're very, you know, friendly at work, you know, we joke back and forth. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and Savannah said, yeah, I did say that, you know, uh, I don't really like Chelsea, you know, and I said, well, look, you need to stop because okay. for one, we, like I said, we agreed to go our separate ways mm. um, and it's jeopardizing my job and it's making me really upset having to come into work, you know, or talk to Chelsea and she just com constantly, you know, badgering me about stuff that you're saying that isn't true. Yeah. yeah. Um, and... I told her that she needs to stop. Um, at that point, I got out and I punctured the hole in the tire. Okay. Um, and I said, no, stop. Like, I'm serious. I don't want to talk to you. It's not good for us, so let's stop. And she just said, why'd you do that? Um, I said, well, I'm upset. You know, I apologized after I told her I would get her a new tire, and she said, fuck you, you know, you're a piece of shit, and I mm. said, uh, she said she's going to keep talking, you know, telling lies and stuff about me and everything like that, and I said, S don't do it again, or next time it's going to be worse, it's going to be your windows. Okay. And at that point, uh, she had her phone in her hand, she got out of the car, and walked towards the main entrance from San Jose. So like if um So this is like like uh like I know Bonefish is like over here. This is San Jose. This is the bank that's over here in this area. Mm -hmm. Um where were you guys parked? She was parked here. Okay. Um to the left of the Vice Star ATM. Okay. Yeah. Um and I was parked here. Okay. Alright. So um, you're you're like here? Yeah, I was uh, I was probably three spaces away. Okay, from her so. car. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. So. And what do you drive? I drive a uh, Chevy Malibu. Okay. What color is it? Silver. Silver Chevy Malibu. Yeah. Does it have Colorado tags, Florida, Florida tags, tags, Georgia tag? Okay. And um, did you when you got there? Did you pull into the parking place? Did you park sideways? Did you park backward? I backed in. Okay, you're backed in. Yeah. You backed into this parking place over by the bank area, um, by the Vistar uh, ATM. Yeah. And you're driving a silver Chevy Malibu with a Florida tag. Okay. And then she she pulls in 
over on this side of you? Yeah. Okay, so like if you're in the car and you're sitting here, she would be on your left. So you're the I'm, driver's if side. If I'm sitting facing forward, yeah, she was okay. on the driver's side. Does she back in? Does she pull in? She pulls in. Okay, all right. So when she gets out, she's close enough to you, and that's when you motioned her over or called her over or said, hey, can I yeah, talk to you? Yeah, just said, hey, can I talk okay. to you? Were you um, by yourself? Yeah. Okay. Nobody was in the car with you. No. Was anybody in the car with her? No. Okay. All right. What was she wearing? Uh, her uniform. Uniform? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, then she comes over. She says, can I get in the car? If I say anything wrong, correct me. Okay. okay? I'm just going to I'm gonna repeat back, but if mm -hmm. I don't get something right, I need you to make sure I'm yeah. saying the right thing. Okay. Um, you say, hey, can I talk to you? She walks over, approaches on the driver's side. You in the car or out of the car then? In the car. Okay. You're sitting in the driver's yeah. seat? Okay. Um, and she she asks, can she get in because she's just done heroin? Yeah. Okay. And then she, how does she do it? Does she shoot up, sm snort, smoke? Uh, she snorts it. Okay. And then she she's comes told me she shot up before, but yeah. uh, never in front of me. Okay. And then she comes and gets in the, in the car with you. Yeah. And you, is your car a two door or a four door? Four door. Four door. Does she get in the front seat or the back seat? She gets in the back. And I asked why she get, she got in the back. Okay. Um, she was like, I just don't want anybody to see me, you know. And where did you get into? Um, she said, you can come back here and we can talk. Okay. And so I got out and I got in the back seat. Okay, so you guys are both in the back yeah. seat now. Okay, got you. All right. All right, I, just, I wasn't sure. Um, and then how the, the conversation went, basically, you're telling her to leave you alone. Yeah. Stop harassing you or stop, to, why are you telling people that we're having sex and you guys, um, you don't want to jeopardize your job along yeah, those Yeah, I just lines. told her, you know, especially since she was high, I was like, you know, it's, you know, we just don't need to have anything to do with each other. Okay. And uh, she just, she said, fuck you, you know, I'm going to keep doing this or whatever. Okay. So I got out and 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 what did you tire. use to, which tire did you puncture on her car? Driver's side, front. Front driver's side, yeah. okay. And what did you, what did you puncture it with? Um, I had a small kitchen knife that I used as a Phillips head screwdriver one okay. time. Uh, is that in your car or is that on your purse? Is like a part of your... Your, it's something that I had chef. in the car. Okay. okay. It's not nothing I use at work. It was just one from the house that sure. uh, okay. I needed a Phillips head screwdriver one time when I was out there. And okay. I just left it in there. And it was in the car. Is yeah. that a screwdriver you did it with? No, it was a uh, uh, yeah, like a small parry knife, I guess uh, you would say. Paring knife? Yeah. Did it have a, what color handle did it have on it? It was just all metal. Okay. An all metal paring knife? Yeah. Okay. And then w did you cut it, puncture it, I something just, else? Sabbed it, yeah. like a puncture yeah. in it? And then you got back in, and then what did you say to her? Um, I said, now, can you leave me alone? I'm like, I'm serious. I don't want to talk to you. And she said, fuck you. Why'd you do that? And I said, and she continued to say that she's going to do whatever she wants, okay. you know, and she'll say what she wants, no matter what. And okay. I knew in my mind it was because she was high. Yeah. So what did you say? But I, I got Obviously, you got to get pissed. Yeah, I got angry. I, I mean, I would too. Yeah, I got frustrated. Yeah. And I said, you know, well, next time it'll be worse. It'll be your windows. Okay. And then. Now, she, you go ahead. I'm no, sorry. no, go ahead. Yeah, now, have you ever done anything like that before to her car? No. Okay. Um, we were told that that had happened before to her car. Have um, you heard that? I didn't heard that. You had her heard car that. had been vandalized before. No. You have? No. Okay, so you you didn't know about that. No. Okay. Same same deal. Okay. All right. Um, okay, what were you, you were saying something about the, um, after you got back, you, did you get back in the car? Yeah. Okay, and did you get in the front seat or the back seat? I got in the front seat. Okay, that time you got in the front yeah. seat, and where is she? She was in the back seat still. Okay. And at that point, I said, you know, now leave me alone. She said, she responded, I said, next time, it'll be your windows. Okay. And she said, fuck you, you know, I'll do what I want, and she got out, mm -hmm. and it looked like she was either texting or calling somebody okay. um, because as she started walking towards the, there's an entrance to a bone, to the plaza. Okay, yeah, um, but it's closer towards 295? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. I wouldn't say she was walking along the edge of the plaza, but she was walking maybe towards this way. Mm -hmm. And I would say an older model Ford pickup, mm -hmm. green, Okay. Uh, drove past me and around and she got in. Okay. So, um, she, had she, while you guys were in the car together, you guys are talking back and forth, she's not on her, is she calling somebody while you guys are 
talking back and forth on the phone? Um, I didn't. She didn't call anybody. No, okay. she had her phone in her hand. Yeah. Um, but okay. I didn't. I don't think she texted anybody. Okay. So she gets out of the car with you, um, and starts walking in this direction. I was in the car. You're you're in the so, car, but she yeah. got out. Yeah. Uh, and now you're in the front seat. Yes. So she gets out of the back seat and begins walking toward in the direction of not necessarily paralleling. Um, San Jose, but she's walking towards 295 or down towards that entrance area. Yeah. Um, and then she's got her phone, and you said you thought she was calling somebody. Um, she was. She had it in her hand and looked like. I mean, I couldn't tell if she was texting or sure. not or anything. But she had her phone out. Yeah, she had her phone out and was looking at it, and then um, it looked like she was going to put it up to her ear, and then yeah. the, the green truck came around. Okay. And she how got long in. do you think? Um, it was between the time that she got out and started using her phone till that green truck pulled up. Um, maybe five minutes. Okay. So wow. So if she called somebody, they got there in five minutes to pick her up. Well, I mean, like I said, she she it looked like she was going to call somebody, and that's when the green truck came around, okay. and she got in. Okay. So she gets in the truck. What what happened at that point? Um. They drove back around, kind of looped around a little bit. Which way did they drive? So, she was, say, like here. Mm -hmm. The green truck comes here, and then kind of just loops around. Mm -hmm. And it look, I guess they exited that way, and at that point, I left. They exited going which way? Down San Um, Towards what's it, Claire Lane. Lane. Okay. I guess to leave the... Uh, so they come out on the back side center. of this um, bank? Like this way? Yeah. Towards Claire and San Jose? Yeah. And then you pull out, which way do you go? Um, I go around and then go out the same way. Same way? Yeah. Okay. And where do you go from there? From there, I go home. You just go straight home from so there? Tell me your route and the way home that you went. Uh, 295 all the way to Beach Boulevard, Beach Boulevard to Grove Park, and then Grove Park. How long does that usually take you? Mm. Depending on traffic, obviously. The trap, I think it usually takes me about 25 minutes or mm -hmm. so. Okay. What happened to your neck? That was self-inflicted, actually. Why? I just have been having kind of a hard time. Uh, to your neck? I couldn't. Yeah, I did. And what did you use? A knife. When did you do that? Um some time in July. You did that in July and it's still yeah. bloody? -ish? Well, it's, I kind of peeled a scab here and there at work, hitting okay. it on stuff like that. I peeled it last night working. Okay. Um, and it was coming off a little bit today, so I peeled that a little okay. bit. All right, let me see. But this and this was the same night. This okay. one was just a lot worse yeah. than this one was. Okay. Um, and that was in July? Yeah. Okay. Um, like a few weeks back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so who who did, could you see who the person in the truck was? Um, the truck had tinted, fairly tinted windows. Mm -hmm. I saw um, a baseball cap. Yeah. Okay. You see a guy, girl, light black. I couldn't really tell mm -hmm. if it was a guy or a girl. Okay. Um, I just remember seeing the truck drive and her get in. Yeah. Um, and obviously I'm sitting in front and the truck drives right past me. Yeah. And I saw a baseball cap through the passenger window. Okay. Um, but. So it seemed like she knew the person? I mean, she got right in. Yeah, have you, had you ever um, seen the truck before? No. Never? Mm -mm. Have you seen it since then? No. Did she, say, okay. well, did she say anything to you when she got out of the car other than, you know, She was just fuck like, you. fuck you, okay. you know, I'm going to do what I want. And she doesn't say out. anything other than that. Okay. Lee, why didn't you mention this before since we've been looking for this girl? I mean, don't you think that information I mean, it definitely, important? it definitely does. Um, and I regret, obviously, not saying anything before. Um, I mean, I talked to uh, Chelsea, and, you know, she said, you know, you need to tell them what you know mm -hmm. and everything when did like you talk that. to chelsea you talked um, to chelsea about this yes okay when did you talk to her um the day that it happened okay because i mean her whole issue with me was me hanging out with savannah sure prior yeah yeah and if savannah's out of the picture then you guys are can be free to have your relationship be back together 
Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I mean, she. I mean, let Savannah's in the way, in essence, right? I mean, she she's kind of creeped in. I mean, she sounds like she's an ass. I mean, she's that way to you. If she's out there telling people you guys are having sex, and if you're not, or if you are, um, then she's the one that's kind of pushing your buttons. She's pushing. Chelsea's I mean, I buttons. just I told Chelsea that I was gonna tell her, you know, to leave me alone. You're in South Savannah. Yeah. When did you tell Chelsea that? Um, I believe it was Tuesday. Okay. Night. Maybe Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, and you, how how do you guys talk? Do y'all Facebook talk text? Uh, text message. Okay. And do you have a Facebook? No. Okay. You you don't have one at all. Um, I had one. Okay. I deactivated it. Maybe a month or two ago. Okay. Okay. It's still there, or you don't use it, or you actually I deactivated, de deactivated the account. It. Okay. So it's not you don't even have one that's out there then. Okay. No. Okay. Um, I did have one when Savannah and I first started talking. That okay. was kind of how we talked. You wait for you guys to talk without Chelsea knowing what was going on. Yeah. I'm not telling Chelsea. Yeah. I'm just no, I mean, no, no. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, when I come up and talk to you yesterday, I'm not threatening. I'm just I'm talking to everybody up there. What? Why? Well, I just you know okay. I, I freaked out to be honest with you. I mean, the, this girl is missing. Yes. Okay. But you know she's been missing. I mean, you you knew from. You know, from in essence, from day one, that she is um, that she's missing, and you um, you you freaked out that I mean, you had I just, to know. I mean, something. obviously, you know, I was the last one to see her, so yeah. I was a little bit scared at that. Um, and How do you know you're you? You just said you weren't the last one to see her. You just said a, somebody in a truck. Well, I mean, the last one to see her at Bonefish. Okay. That the last one she's heard from. Or right. I had contact with that anybody knows of. Sure. Um, and you know, I thought that I had a warrant out already. Okay. What's um, a warrant for? Uh, I didn't go to a court date for a ticket. Okay. Okay. So obviously, but I, I didn't. I talked to you last night. Yeah. And I didn't have handcuffs. I didn't wasn't threatening in any way. Definitely not. And I, but I mean, and I, and I left. So I mean, what were you? You were worried. If you were worried, you were going to get arrested. Then that would have happened. Well, I mean, that's another reason that uh, you know, I Chelsea called me and I said, you know. I told him I didn't, you know, know anything. What do I do now? You know, I already. When did you talk already, to Chelsea about that? When did you when did you talk to her? Um, about that you talked. It had to have been after last night. So was yeah. it today? No, I didn't talk to her today. Okay, so I was up there talking to you last night, at like eleven o'clock. Yeah. So did you talk to her? No, I'm sorry. That? It was earlier in the day. I because obviously I told her what happened. Uh, the day that it happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and told her that I was going to tell Savannah to leave me alone. Okay. Uh, the day before. Mm -hmm. Um, and after I told her, you know, what happened about me, you know, puncturing the tire and her getting in the car with some guy. Yeah. Um, she, we talked a little bit just about, you know, how it's kind of crazy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I said, well, you know, she hasn't hung out with the best of people in her past. Okay. Um, and she asked me if I knew who it was. I said no. Uh, just told her it was, you know, a green truck. Mm -hmm. um, and then everything happened and, you know, her mom and the police came up there mm -hmm. and everything like that. So we talked Thursday night. And she said, hey, you need to tell somebody. Okay. And I was like... I don't know what to do, you know. Mm. I'm scared. I, you know, I don't want to get in trouble for, you know, anything or have anything, you know, be a suspect or anything mm. like that, which, I mean, obviously wasn't the right decision to make. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because now, yeah, obviously, I mean, we're it, find it, it out looks so. obviously. Yeah, we should have gotten uh, three yeah. days ahead Obvious, of this. Obviously, now it looks. So, um, so you're saying that there's a, a green, what kind of truck was it? It was. It looked like a Ford, like a mid nineties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a two door, maybe the ones with the little third door that you open from the side. Okay. Um, well, the good thing about that is um, we should be able to verify all of that, all of those kind of things. That that, that won't be a problem at all. Um, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, so you said that you told her that you had talked to us, but 
I don't, I don't think that that could chronologically. I don't think that could match. No, up. Okay. we we talked Thursday. Okay. And Not last night. After no. We talked. Or we, this. We we talked Thursday. Okay. After like uh, her mom and everything was on the news. Yeah. Um, she called me and was like, "Hey, you know, everything's all over the news. Uh, you need to you need to tell somebody. You know." She said, "Call the hotline." Or something like that. Did you call the hotline? Um, I told her I did, just because I had I wasn't I was scared to call that night. So, but did you ever call the hotline? No. Okay. So this you haven't told anyone yet of this, other no, than Chelsea's Chelsea. the only person that okay. knows. Okay. Um, you just because I felt like I could, you know, I've. Did you and wanted Chelsea to be talk? truthful. So after, how'd that conversation go with you and Chelsea? Um, she just she kept person. asking me, you know, it's like, what happened? Mm -hmm. You know, what happened? And I would tell her, and she said it's crazy. Um, and then she told me that, you know, I need to yeah. call somebody and let them know that I was talked to her Wednesday okay. um, before the news said she went missing. Yeah. And I said I would. Okay. And I didn't. How'd, that con how'd, how'd the conversation end with you guys? She was, she told me she basically said that she's not going to, you know, she doesn't want to associate with me because I w talked to Savannah on Wednesday. It's you, essentially you had the already gist told of, her you were going to do that. Yeah. Okay, so here. You see, the thing with m me and Chelsea would argue all the time about yeah. me but not telling Savannah to cut it off or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But you go up and you meet. Chelsea knows that you're going to go meet Savannah Wednesday afternoon. Yes. She knows that. Yes. Um, afterwards, do you guys talk about how that conversation went? Yes. Okay. So you got. So she knows how the conversation ended. Yes. And. You told her that night, Wednesday night, about the truck and about her yeah. and about you puncturing the tires. Um, is there? So you just called her and told her? No, we, we spoke first via text. Okay. Um, so you text her from your phone yes. that you slashed her tire or punctured yes. her tire or anything like that. So that's on your phone? Yes. Okay, so that text message is on your phone? No. Why not? Well, I mean, I took a picture of the tire first mm -hmm. um, and sent it to her. Sent it to Chelsea. Chelsea okay. Yes. All right. Um, so that can verify that. Yeah. Okay. So where is that? That's on your phone now? No. Okay. Why isn't it on I your phone? I deleted it once, you know, Thursday came around and the police came up and everything like that. And, you know, they said Savannah was missing because mm -hmm. I freaked out. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like. Which is, Sounds I mean, crazy. Which is, so you, I mean, obviously, me sending a picture of one of the things that they pointed out on yeah. the news kind of scared me. Sure, so, absolutely. Um, so, how, how do you guys get together? Or y'all talk anymore Wednesday night? How, do you have? Uh, does she do a follow up with you? How the conversation go? How how the rest of Wednesday go? Um, we she called me on my way home. Okay. Um, and you know, asked where I was. And I told her I was like pulling in my neighborhood. Um, and then we just talked about the situation. She asked what I said to Savannah, yeah. what Savannah said to me, and you know, how I like, stabbed the tire and everything mm -hmm. like that. And she asked why, because she, she was texting me while me and Savannah were talking. Okay. And I didn't reply because me, we were talking. Yeah. And you know, I was, we were. Going back and forth, so mm -hmm. uh, I didn't text her back, and I told her, you know, I'm not ignoring you. We were talking, and then I said, after I punctured the tire, yeah. I wanted to leave. Okay. Because obviously, you know, get in trouble for stabbing somebody's tire. Sure, yeah. So I didn't want to get in trouble. Okay. Um, so she called me and asked me what I was doing. I said, I'm in my neighborhood, about to go home. Uh, went home uh we texted a little bit more here and there she asked me what i was doing told her i was eating 
Uh, I sent a picture of her after I got a shower because she was like, oh, I haven't got any pics or this and that. So uh, as I was getting out the shower, I got the text message and I texted her a picture of me getting out the shower uh, because she said she didn't believe I was home okay. or something like that. Um, so I sent her a picture and other than that, I hung out at the house. Okay. By yourself? No, I have a roommate. Okay. What's his name? Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. Okay. So Beiger. B-I-E-G-E-R. P-I-E-G-E-R? Yeah, he's... Um, P or B? B. B. Okay. Okay, he's what, sorry? He's who I moved in with. Okay. So, Wednesday night over the house, it's you and Aaron? Yeah. Okay, okay. Was yeah. Aaron there when you got home? No. What time did he get home? Uh... Eleven ish. Okay. A little bit after. But before that, you just hung out in this house by yourself at eight. Um, I ate some dinner, took a shower. Chelsea actually came over Wednesday night, okay. if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And what y'all do? Uh, just hung out, watched movies, drank a couple beers. Okay. Um. So where, where? When she's in the car, what is she, does she say to you about what her plans are? So she's scheduled to work that night. Mm -hmm. So she's going to work? She didn't talk about, uh, I mean, I assumed she was going to work. Mm -hmm. um, she was in her uniform. Um, but she didn't say, when she got out of the car, she didn't say anything mm -hmm. after she got out of the car. When she gets in that truck, she, let's be honest, let's, we won't even call her she, Savannah. Okay, um, Savannah, um, again with this picture, if we're using it in the same place, they, you, from where your drawing was, they drove over here. You're here, and you, they drive out over here. Do they stop? Does she get out and go into work? Does, does the um, truck keep going? I didn't see once they turned the corner past the ATM. Mm -hmm. Once she got in and they left, I left you because left. I just... Did you run you know, into them on the road anywhere? No. Okay. Did she call you later on or text you later on? Savannah, no. Mm -hmm. No other contact with her? No. So, where's Savannah right now? I don't know. Where would I find her? I don't know. That's my my prime objective is to find her. Definitely. I think time's running out on her. And I think that... I mean, I, I've... I should have said something to you yeah. guys when I talked. Oh, yeah, I yeah, should have said something Wednesday think, or Thursday when it was brought into So tell me attention. how I go from nice guy, never met you. Um, you seem like a nice guy. I come up and talk to you uh, again. Out of you, you know, you agreed that there was nothing threatening or anything about our conversation. Just asking you for some some basic, simple things. We, we talked for just a few minutes, and you um, didn't tell me this story. I'm not going to say the truth because um, I, th I think there's holes in this story too. Okay. Um, so you don't tell me this story. And then today we're talking again because I brought you down to talk to you because I found holes in, in that story that didn't match up. And now you're telling me another story that there's holes in this story that does not match up. So where where's Savannah? I don't know. Where? Well, why were you being hesitant about Chelsea being at your house? You first said that you uh, ate by yourself, you yes, ate alone. Yes. And then I Aaron, ate dinner alone, yes. Right, but that wasn't that's not true either, because you ordered Papa John's. Yeah. I for you I, Chelsea. I ate corn dogs earlier in the evening. And, and when Chelsea could, got there, she was hungry. Right, but you said so you I said clearly I, said you yeah. were alone. When I ate the corn dogs, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what I'm I saying. remember specifically texting Chelsea, I'm eating corn dogs. And all that's on your phone? No. Why would so, you delete all that? Just a conversation with you and Chelsea, you would delete about I'm having corn dogs? That text might be on there. Okay. But she, once we got to talking about, you know, me going up to Bonefish and everything like yeah, that, yeah. Uh, Chelsea said, you know, don't involve me. Does Chelsea you believe know. you? She... I don't know. Okay. Uh, um, just so you know, Chelsea thinks you're bullshit. Okay. Because we've talked. We've talked to a lot yeah. of people. So 
And, and, and I mean, that's about the gist of, you know, Chelsea's attitude towards me for the most part for the past months. You know, okay. Ever since me and Savannah. Is that because first, you're a liar? I mean, to her, like in I the mean, past? She, that's pretty much what she labels me as, yeah. Do you, because do you I, lie? Not about... Every, no, I mean obviously I lied to her about okay. hanging out with Savannah and stuff. And you like lied that. to me about Savannah. Yes, sir. Okay, so I mean I, I just I'm not trying to say anything. No, else. I understand. Here's, I'm just laying out a, a facts here. I want I want to find this girl. I, I need to find her. I understand. Um, and here's a couple reasons I need to find her. One is um, I'm hoping that that she's still alive, um, and and that's really I, I really do I'm holding out for that. Um, and if she's not alive, then I think she and her family. Are, are due that knowledge. I think closure. that's. Uh, I think they need some closure, um, because I think the reality is, is if somebody's, you know, dead somewhere, a, a parent would want to know. I, I think if you do, you have kids. No. Okay. So it, one day when you have kids, you w the uncertainty is is, what whatever kind of a person she is, and I'm not about to say what kind of a person she is, um, because that, I, I'm not making any judgments. I'm saying that this human being is if she's alive, then I, I want to find her. I, I need to make sure she's okay because several days now she hasn't been around. Some there, Things happen to the human body and people can't stand um, a, a lot of things that can transpire. But the other thing is if she's not, this family deserves better than this. This family deserves better than somebody who works with her and who's got knowledge and won't tell the police because they're worried about their own ass. Because that's pretty. I, that's that's pretty cheap. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I agree your your is. feelings in it. I don't. I don't really care about your feelings. What I care about is finding her. So where is she? I don't know where she is. Where is Savannah? I don't know. I need to know where Savannah is. So I, I don't know where know. she is. You don't know because you had something done with her and you weren't involved in that part. No. I, I don't know. Tell me something. What can I work with? I told you the last time I saw her. But that's not true because we have proof. We have, we have proof, and that's why we're sitting here, Lee. At this point, we need this for her. I mean, I look at that little girl, and I think of my little girl. My little girl who's her age. That's who I think about. That was my little girl. I couldn't imagine. I don't care what she said about you or whatever, but my little girl is that age. Uh, maybe, maybe and you're not telling the truth. Maybe something gets out of hand in the car. I didn't do anything. Okay, you didn't uh, okay. do anything, but she okay. was in your car. She never got out of your car. She, she never got, got out of your car, Lee. We, we're not saying that you did anything. I'm trying to find her. I didn't say you I did anything. I don't know anything. where she is. Well, we can prove that you left with her in the car. So please, do 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 everybody do a favor and just tell us. Where where is she? You you got to be able to to be able to separate. We're not sitting here saying you did anything to her. I, I don't know. She's on drugs. I, maybe she she passed. I don't I don't know. I, I'm not in that car with you guys. I know that she's in that car with you. I have proof of all of this. Okay, let me ask you, Lee. Then tell us now if you're if you're being an honest man. Are you being honest? Yes. Okay. Well, then let's start being honest. She never got out of your back seat, Lee. She never got out of your your back seat. Video cameras don't lie. Lee. How do you know? How do you how do you think I know this information, Lee? I wasn't there. But a video camera caught it. Tell me what happened. I don't know. What how did how what happened to her? Was it an overdose? Is that what happened? I, I I don't know. I'm not in the car with you guys. You just said she was in your car and she had Im admittedly had done heroin. A body's overdose all the time. Is that what happens? Does she overdose? Okay, well tell us when you left with her in the car, because that is what is shown. We can't make up that. We can't falsify a video camera Lee. I'm not lying to you, because you know I'm telling the truth, because you know that's what's on the video. How else would I know that? I don't, unless I have the video. Where did you go with her? I didn't go anywhere with you her. You did? No. You did. So the video camera's lying? I don't know this, I mean... Well, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you, I'm not making that up. That's why I'm so 
passionate about this. This is someone's child. You might not have kids, but damn it, is she someone's kid? It's not fair to her that. mom with stage four cancer. Once all she wants to know is where her daughter is. But I have this man sitting over here, a 28 year old man, that first says, "You haven't seen her. You didn't see her that day." To now, the roles have reversed a little bit because we've been doing our background, okay? And now you're saying that she was sitting in your car, which all lines up with the video, actually. I'm glad that you said you got in the back seat with her. All that lines up. Walking over to her car, puncturing her tire, everything lines up. You come back to your car and going back to her car, everything lines up. But you know what doesn't line up? After that passenger door comes open and shuts, comes open and shuts, she never gets out of that car. And you drive off, she never gets out of that car. There is no green truck. And that's not right to her. We're fact finders, Lee. I don't have anything personal against you. No, no, not at all. I mean, it's, it's, it's We're over. just fact just finders. Tell us We're what just happened. doing Where our is job. She? No, no, no. Where did you go with her? Where did you go with her, Lee? Be a human. You're a human. You're a man. Where did you go with her? I know you're not that cruel inside. Seriously. Where did you go with her? Maybe you, you maybe you don't know where she is now. Where did you go with her? Please. I'm begging you, Lee. Please. Please tell us. Please don't make us waste any more of our time. Just tell us. Please tell us. Please. I'm begging you. I know you're not evil. Just tell us where she is. I'm begging you. Please. Please. Can you please just tell me? You do know. Is that what, how you want it, people to think? I know you're not an evil person. I don't see that in you. I don't see that in your history. I don't hear those things about you at work. Please tell us where you went with her. She never got out of your car. Please tell us, Lee, please. I'm begging you. For her family. Please. Please. She didn't get out of your car. And you know that, obviously. Please. Please, Lee. I'm begging you. Human. I don't know. You too. Look, if we, I, please, you know, Lee, just please, please don't make us do this any longer. Well, yeah, for her, for her, for her family. Can you just, just tell us where? Can you just tell us where, where did you go? Where did you go with her then? Can you at least tell us that? At least tell us that part. Where did you go with her afterwards? She didn't get out of your car, and, and you know that obviously because yeah, well, I know we that. Do. That's why we were here. Just tell us where. Where did you go with her? Tell us that. At least point us in that direction. I owe her family. We've been no one's. Uh, we're not saying anything that you intentionally did anything. Just tell us where you went. Please. Lee, it's not. You're doing right. great. I mean, you told you. You already told us everything we already know. It's not right, Lee. This isn't right for her family or for anybody. No one should have to go through this. I'm just, I'm just human like you are. She's human, her family, everybody has feelings. Please, now's, now's the time to tell us because I don't think you're any kind of evil person. No. And I feel like you are gonna tell us the truth. I, I do believe that. I do believe you're gonna tell us the truth because I believe you do have a conscience. Now's the time. Please. That's all we're asking. It's just where, where'd you guys go? I, I think you're a good man. I think you want to do the right thing.
when y'all left out of there, you went down Clear Lane, you made a left on San Jose, about to 295, and you get up on 295. Okay. Where else did you go before you went home? I mean, I know you eventually went home, but... I didn't go anywhere. I went straight home. Okay. So what did y'all do when you got home? Savannah was with you. She was with you. And that's okay at that point, but I need to know what... Where, all, where did she go from there? Is she still at your house? No. Okay. Is she still in your car? No. Okay. Well, then where is she? I don't know where she is. Okay, then where did you last drop her off at? I didn't drop her off. Okay, well then tell me. What happened? Where'd you guys go? We went to my house. Okay. We did some jokes. Okay. Hung out for a little. And then she said she was going to catch an Uber home. Okay. And did she call an Uber? She pulled her phone out. Looked like she was using it. I wasn't hovering over her. I was pretty high. So, I mean, I wasn't. She told me she was leaving. She walked out the door. What was going on in the back seat? Anything, what was know. going on in the back seat? For the doors to be kicked open. She kicked open that door three times, Lee. She kicked it. We saw it. And you know, and you know I'm not making it up because I wouldn't know this because I wasn't there. I would never know this unless we had video of it, correct? Yes, correct. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm just a fact finder. We're not going to lie to you. That door kicked over three times. Obviously something went on in that back seat. Don't tell me about that. What happened in the back seat? Did she get mad at you? I mean, she was upset. Yeah. She tried to slap me. I slapped her. She went to get out. I grabbed her around her waist and said, where are you going? Why are you hitting me? And she tried to slap me again. And then, you know, I was still holding her, and she calmed down, and we left. We talked, and we left. Why would, why would she be with you after that? Why would, why would she want to say, thanks for slashing my tires, thanks for grabbing me, thanks for trying to slap me, cool, yeah, I want to hang out with you tonight. Why would I she mean, we've gotten arguments plenty of times where she says she doesn't care what happens or anything like that. But let's be honest, no one's going to go with some man willingly after all that. No, one, no one's going to do it. Please tell me where Savannah is. No. You do know. You do know, Lee. And right now is the time. You're so close, and I know, I know you're going to tell me. I know you are, because I just, I just know you are. Because I know you want to do the right thing, but you're scared to do the right thing. I, I get it. Yeah. I do. I'm not, I'm not. Can you not, just tell me what I'm being charged with, please? Yes. Yeah. I, I would. I want to. I don't know yet, but at least I do know that you're. Go you have the KPS out for your arrest for the, for the DWLS. DWLS. Huh? We found that. For the what? The DWLS, I think. Yeah. No. I. But where, where's Savannah? So what am I being charged with now? I. Driving while suspended license. I don't know yet. I gotta talk to the attorney that's sitting out there watching this interview. Where's Savannah? I don't know. You do know. So you're gonna make me in our team and this whole entire sheriff's office and every person in the community to get out there after you know we after they know 
the truth of who she left with and sees the struggle in the back seat of your car. And you're going to make all of us go and search Jacksonville for her when you could just easily tell me where she is? Let, is that what we're going to put think, everybody think, through? Think about this. All right. Sometimes people do wrong things, right? Some people, people make mistakes. It's what you do afterwards. I got a family that needs closure. They are now coming to the reality that she's no longer with us. I need closure for them. When stuff gets out that you guys left and all that together and all that kind of stuff, you want people to remember you as a guy who said, okay, look, I'm going to do the right thing. Or do you want your family and everybody else to think that you're some evil, heartless person who won't tell us where she is? Why would you put your family and her family through all that? I don't think you're that kind of guy. I don't think you're evil. Something got out of hand. I get it. But what do you do after that? Here's what you do. You do the right thing now. Just tell us where she is. Closure for her family. Lee, we understand. Listen, we understand. We're not trying to hint you up on anything, man. I'm telling you I'm thinking about this girl and her family. In your family. She was serving. Please tell me where to go find her. That's how people remember you. We can work with that, man. We can work with that. What? you got to do the right thing now. You can do this. You can do the right thing. She was hitting me. I just, she wouldn't stop. And I squeezed back. Okay. And she was just. Was she under your arm or something? Or? She started hitting me. You know, after I, you know. So that's her tire. Right. And we went back and forth and I just I squeezed her on her. You squeezed her around her neck or around her neck with your hands? She had. She had. She had her hands around mine. Okay. And then you had yours around hers and y'all were just fighting back with each other. Okay. She just wanted to let go and I didn't let go. Okay. Where is she now? Please tell us where she is. You got the hardest part out. I, I understand yeah. that. And you got the hardest part out. Freaked out. Okay. I left. All I want to do is tell. I know. You're doing good, buddy. It's pond on the west side. Off of Club Du Clay. Cup Club Du Clay? Yeah. Okay. And Long Champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I got a map printed out of that, you think you could just show me that? Okay. It's on the west side from Club Du Clay and Long Champ? Okay. And how did you... You're, you're, you're great. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get this over with him. Let's find her. Let's let her pants. When no. did you when did you put her there? Did you go straight there? No. No. Okay. What happened? You you tell me. I'll I'll quit. After she stopped, I didn't know what to do. Okay. I freaked out. Yeah. I didn't know. I don't have the faintest idea how. Huh? what goes, what's supposed to happen after that. So... I go home and I don't know what to do, so... Um... I have five bit in my backyard and I put a 
there. And then, you know, you guys show up Friday night. Okay. I get even more scared. Okay. Was she just put in the fire pit? Or did you burn her, or what? Um, I dug a hole. Okay. Put her there. Okay. And then, I don't know why I thought it would help. Mm -hmm. You know, starting a bonfire. Okay. It did. Okay. You're, you're doing the right thing now, man. You are. So you moved her Friday? Moved her this morning. This morning? Okay. And w the bu now, was the, the the area that you dug out there, was that, did she get burned at all, or you just tried, or, or what? I tried. Okay. You tried to burn her? Okay. Was she wrapped in anything, or just her? No. Okay. Okay. Does she still have on her work clothes? No. Okay. You took the work clothes off of her? Where are the work clothes? I threw them away. Okay, where did you throw those away? I just, on the way this morning, I just tossed them out. Out the window? Do you remember about where you were? Um, well, I was just scared. Okay, I, I, I get it. Chelsea, okay. Chelsea knows. No. Okay. You know I never you told Chelsea. You never told her. Okay. You never told her when she came over that night. Were you scared that she? I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Well, she and she was um, out back when that happened. Who? Um, Savannah was out back when right. Chelsea came up. Okay. Yeah. So you put her there that that night on Wednesday. Wednesday. Out the back. Okay. Is your roommate? Your roommate. He wasn't home. But he knows. No. He doesn't know. Um, and then. Today you dug her up, okay. And then did you put her in your car, okay? Did you wrap her up or just okay? What'd you wrap her in? Um, we had like some plastic and a blanket. Okay. And um, did anybody help you or did you see anything? Okay, just you at the house. And where did you put her in the car? In the trunk. In the trunk. Okay. And then you went. Tell me where you went to. <laughs> I, I don't believe you did. You didn't want to come over there. I thought me telling her to leave me alone would make things right. Make things right, yeah. yeah. And that, um, I didn't want to be that pond is Longchamp to Clay area. Um, okay. I'm going to see if somebody will bring in a, a map and we'll just make sure we get that. And I'll just, you can just kind of show me. And then when you get there, about what time today was that, do you know? About 6.30. About 6.30 tonight? This morning. Oh, this morning. Okay, I apologize. So about 6.30 this morning, you go over there. Um, were there cars out? Did, my, did, did you pull her? Is it, and I don't know the area. Is there, um, you pull around the backside or, or you something? You come down the front street, which is Club to Clay. Okay. Yeah. yeah Club to Clay. Yeah. Is it, it's a residential and neighborhood. Take a right on to, I think that's Long Champ. Okay. And just straight down. Okay. On the end the street. Okay. And then just t walk me through that. What happened there? Um, I pulled in. There's area you can drive yeah like into the pond mm -hmm. into the trees and stuff like that yeah okay, okay did did you just put it there did you float did you put something on the cement what, what made you okay. go there how do you know that area i've been fishing there okay a long okay time ago. okay so yeah. it's off as you you went off collins road or no, you went I got off, off the landing Okay, you went off a of blanding. Oh yeah, you went off a of blanding, and then you turned on. Yeah. Right under that area. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if I'm going to have my phone is like cracked, but there's one that you turn on that road to get it down, plug to plug, and it's down that pond. That one or over here is this one. Nobody else was going to see. I was just freaking out. I just I didn't know what to do. Did you? You didn't tell anybody? <laughs> I know it's really tough. I just, you know, I told her to leave me alone. And then we slashed her tire and I got back in. And please, I'm serious, now leave me alone. Or next time it's going to be your windows. And she just she started hitting me. And she didn't stop me, and she grabbed me. And I grabbed her back. And she wouldn't let go. I didn't let go. Did you throw it in the water? The Did you throw her in the water, Lee, or on the banks of the water? She's pretty close to the banks. Pretty secluded back there. Make sure here. Let me check. Yeah, it's that pond right there. He said you turn on Long Champ. Okay. Off of landing. So if I'm looking at landing on the Long Champ, is this the pond? No. No, it goes it's down that way. way. Goes this way? Yeah, it goes all the way down that Just way. Straight down. Mm -hmm. uh, Club du Clay. Yeah, like so right here. See, it goes all the way down to that. So if you can show that to Dwayne, then he can get that because I want. I just want to get a signature on that one. Um, I'll get the right one. And it looks like further down here. Okay. Okay. Right. You're doing good. Yeah. I I I, I believe it. I just wanted to tell her to stop talking about me. Yeah. You and Chelsea. After you did retire. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. You see, I'm serious. Okay. And she said, fuck you. And she slapped me and grabbed me. Okay. And I tried to pull her arms off, but she wouldn't let go. So I grabbed her, and she wouldn't let go. Were you, I should have let go. Was she facing you, or were you behind her and she was facing out? How how was she positioned? I was behind the driver's seat and she was behind the passenger seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were in the back we seat facing together. facing Y'all were facing each other. And did you use, like, your arms or your hands or something else? She leaned over and, like, went around me. Okay. And just, like, squeezed. Okay. Around your chest or your neck or something? It was kind of, like, mid Okay, she's, she's just like, like that. Yeah, she's trying to, oh, like that, like trying to. Like halfway up my chest. Yeah, okay. And just like kind of on the back of my neck. Sure, yeah. And uh, I tried to pull away and she wouldn't. Okay. So I took my hands and. Moved her hands away? I moved, I tried to move her away. Okay. And. I thought my hands were around her shoulders. Okay. My hands were around her neck. Okay. And I turned and went. I went to push her down onto the seat. Okay. But my hands were around her neck. Okay. I thought I had her right here. You thought you had her up here? Yeah, I thought okay. I had her like, like right here. Yeah. And I ended up coming down. Okay. And I just heard a pop. 
Okay, you heard a pop sound. Okay. And she just. And you had both hands like this around, like around this part of her neck. Did, could you feel a pop? Yeah. Okay, where did you feel I it? I just heard it, and then it felt like somewhere in here. Okay. And um, when you after you heard the pop, what um, what what happened at that point? Do you remember? She just stopped moving. She just stopped moving. Okay. It's um, it's gonna be um. Long chant down to clay. It's right here. It's covered with algae. Is that what you're talking about right there? Is that the one? Okay. Would you mind just, just. say pond and just today's date and your and your signature, please, sir. Um. Where's her phone at? I threw it out the window. Tell me where you threw it. I'm two ninety five. Like what about what area? In between. Phillips and K Parkway, maybe. Was that the the Wednesday night after this happened? Yeah. Okay, that's when you threw her phone out. Okay. She had her phone with her when she got in the car. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, what what did you get out of her car when you went back over to her car? I know you because you went twice. You know, you you punch her, it, you come back, you talk to her. This all happens within a short period of time. But then you go back over to her car and go in. What do you get out of her car? It was her makeup bag. Got her makeup bag out? Okay. Did you get anything else out? Okay. And why did you get her makeup bag? I don't know. I, did. I was freaking out. And sure, like, sure. Okay. Do you remember what color it was? It was like red. Maybe. Okay. And where is that? I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're, you're, today's the uh, today's the 5th. Yeah. August the 5th. And then you can just sign it your, your name. Okay. Um, and and this is the pond right here. Okay. All right. When you pulled into here, did you go in the back? Where where, where exactly could you tell me? You can see here. You can see it from right, right here. Right. Right here. Mm -hmm. You pull in here and come to the left. Mm -hmm. And there's like a little driveway, but I mean it's grass. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right here. Yeah. So no one's going to be able to see you because the closest house there's is like house this one. Here. Sure. There was a semi truck parked here. Semi truck here, and where do you put her in the pond? Because it's a big area, and I want to go find her. She's in the, not. She's not. She's close. Yeah. Like here, like in that area there. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put it like an X there, and you think that's kind of in the general area. Not that I'm holding you that, but. Um, and what what's she gonna? What would she be wrapped in? A blanket and plastic. A blanket and plastic. Okay. Okay. You're doing the right thing. I want to be able to tell her family. I'm so okay. Sorry. Okay. I don't want this. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you one other thing. What was up with the text to her family? I just freaked out. Okay. I got. I got scared. Sure. And I thought maybe it's, she's had, you know, tendencies to do things like with her ex and stuff. Yeah, okay. Who, who'd you send the text to? Uh, her dad. Okay. Anybody else? And her brother. Her dad and her brother you sent it to? Do you remember kind of what it said? It said that, you know, was running off with a boyfriend. Okay, all right. Did you send that to anybody else? Okay, just the dad and the boyfriend. Okay. Did you ever get on her Facebook Messenger? No. We didn't have her password for that or anything like that. Okay. Did you ever try to check her voicemails? No. no. Okay. And you, when you left from there, after you sent the text messages, you get back up onto 295, and you are heading down, and then somewhere you said maybe like Phillip, Phillips. You you park came up. It was okay. somewhere by the. No, the construction. By the construction area. If you're driving, do you throw it out your driver's side or the passenger side or something else? Okay, on my side. Your driver's side, okay. And Phillips, and where do you think? Phillips, somewhere between Phillips and Gate Parkway. And Gate Parkway, okay. On 95. Yeah. Okay. Um, and her clothes you threw out today when you were going, because you said her clothes, you had taken her clothes off of her when you tried to burn her. Um, and you threw those out the window as well. 
Was that like on the highway or a street or something else, or do you remember? It was on the highway sometime this morning. Not early this morning? On the way out. Okay. Yeah. What time do you think you went over there this morning, you said? About 6, 6.30 this morning? Okay. Okay. Now, I, I, I appreciate you being honest. I appreciate you being honest. Okay? You know, you... Okay. She just wouldn't let go of me. And we went back and forth. And then I finally just... Swung around. Yeah. And you heard the pop in her neck. Yeah. And, and when you got back, you got out and you got the bag, you got back in the driver's side. She's, is she, where is she in the car at that point when you leave the there? Seat. She's just laying in the back seat? Okay. So, do you think you broke her neck? I, she got guess. Because you said you, when you were squeezing her, that's when you heard the pop. And then after that, she didn't move anymore? Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming I'm not a doctor, but I'm, a, I'm assuming that happened with me, okay. Is there anything, maybe I forgot to ask you, is there anything else you want to tell me? I didn't mean to. Okay. I'll come I wasn't back. going there to You weren't, to you weren't going there to try her. to hurt her. No. Okay. Like I said, we hung out for her. No. She, yeah. she, she wouldn't let go of me. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, give me a few minutes. Um, to get some stuff together, and I'll, I'll talk, I'll convey what you've said to me, okay? Um, you want some more water or anything? No, okay. Thank you. Thank I, you for I being do honest. Wanna, I do want to tell you thank you for being honest. No. Give me a few minutes, okay?
Um, I wanted to just kind of clarify something with you real quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you, and I, I appreciate you just being honest about everything, um, and we're going to work on now going and finding her. When you ever, she is grabbing, whenever she starts grabbing you in the car, I know she slaps you. Does she do anything else? She slaps me. Okay. She tries to slap me again. Okay. And I kind of grab her hand. Yes, sir. And I was the one who opened the door the first time. Okay. I pushed open. I was going to try to push her out. Okay. And that's when she's grabbed me around the neck. And how she grabbed you like this? Did she grabbed just you. She grabbed me here. Okay. Okay. She's grabbing you yeah. like this here. Okay. All right. That's what she does. So I try to push her. Okay. Sure. And she won't let go of me. Okay. So she starts to hit me like on the side of my head and stuff like that. Okay. And so I've got her. Sorry, yeah, you're, you're here, fine. I've got you're her like right. here. Not, yeah. And I'm trying to, okay. you know, okay. push her out of the car. Okay. And then she just keeps hitting me. Okay. And I just I swing her towards the back of the back seat. Okay. So if you're, you know, we're we're both sitting in the car. You're here. This is the back seat, right? So you're sitting here, cause, and she's on this side, and you're doing that, and you're trying to push her out. And I open the door. You open the door, okay. And then if you, I'll just do it like this. And then if you're, you're here, you, this is you, and this is her, you're grabbing. Well, here, just show me. Just, will you show me kind of what happened um, best you can? Don't. I, I mean, if, are, are you okay? Do this for a second. I just want to kind of get a feel of what, where, where her, her head was. If you're not, you don't have to. shift gears for a second then. Tell me at, at your house, you go, I know you go back home, you said, after you guys left there. And did you, did you go straight to the backyard with her? Or did she stay in your car for a little bit? Or you go straight to the backyard? Okay. You're under a time, you know your roommate is going to come home later on. And you have a shovel or what did you use? Okay. And is there, was there already a fire pit? Okay. So is it is it like bricks or is it just an area? It's just a little makeshift one with like garden bricks and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put her in that? Yeah. Okay, so it had already been dug out. Yes. Okay, you put her in that. Did you cover up with anything? There was some wood already in there. There was wood and then you just put the wood on her and tried to burn it? Okay, okay. And then she just stayed there until you moved her today. Right? Yeah. Okay. And you don't have to show me. I just was curious, so I just want to, you know, match up when we find her you know, with her neck injuries and stuff. That's it. And maybe that'll explain, you know, what happened. Uh, I'm not going to push you to do that. I appreciate you. You've done a lot by just kind of sharing where we can go find her. We're working on a, a team now that's going to be able to go do that. Okay. You know, I'm conveying to the state attorney all the statements and everything that you've made, right? Here, here, here. Have you, let me sit back over there. You're okay. Just for a minute. I'm going to go out there and finish talking to her. No, no, don't. I don't want you to. You good. You did great. Okay. You did the right thing by sharing. All right? Hey. You did the right thing by sharing. Okay? Hey. Here, have a seat over here. You want some more water or anything? No. Okay. Right, give me just a few minutes. I'm going to go finish talking to her.
have some photographs of you. I'm going stand right here. I'm going to just take some overall photographs and take hands out of your pocket and just take some overall photographs. Just, just relax. Okay, turn to, turn to the side. Alright, keep turning. Turn and face the wall. Turn again. All right, face me. You have any particular injuries? I need to hold your head up. Face your hands. Turn it back over on that side. Turn to the side here. Any other injuries I need to know? Any tattoos? Thank you.
good Chelsea. pairing knife that you use on the tire. Where is that? The garage of my house. Your house in the garage? Like where in the garage? It's in the knife set that came in. In the knife set that it came in? It's sitting right there on top of a coffee table. On top of a coffee table. Okay. When you took her to the house the first time, did you go through the house or around the sides or something different? Through. Through the house? Okay. Went through the house. Um, and what were you wearing that night? Do you remember? Jeans. 
Okay. Shirt. Was it like a t-shirt or a polo or? Okay. And where are those clothes? Um. I washed. You washed them. Was there anything on them? No. Okay. And where they're just where are they now? In the dryer, washing machine? They're in my room. In your room? Okay. Blue jeans and a gray T-shirt. Any like just logos dark or gray? Just blue sleeves. Dark gray T-shirt with blue sleeves. Okay. Um, her makeup bag. Where where is that? With her clothes. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I think that was the only other thing she wanted me to ask you. Yeah. Trying to finish up everything now. And just, you know, she she knows she's watching through everything. About you, did, about you didn't need to. Well, I'll tell you what, you did the right thing. I know. I, I get it. I appreciate you being honest and you telling us where, where she is. I would be trying to get one girl. Just a couple more, couple more minutes, hopefully. I'm better. I just have to, I need to know. You, you said you did this this morning. Did you take your phone with you? Where'd you where was the phone at? Did you stop by Bonefish? Hmm? Is that my house? This morning? You left at your house? Oh, okay. 
All right, well, that makes sense. I was just going to. Okay. Anything you want me to tell our mom? Okay. Do you have family here? Does your mom live here? <coughs> she lives in the clinic. Hold tight for us for a little bit, okay? I'll be back in.
Jelly.
Yes, sir. Uh, I just have a question. Yes, sir. Um, one, uh, am I going to be able to make a phone call at some time? Well, yes, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll take you over to the jail and you'll be able to make a phone call over there. Yes, sir. Okay. What's the other question? Uh, never mind. The other questions are just ridiculous. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if, if you need it, just knock again and I'll, we'll, we'll try to you get to you. You guys don't smoke in here, no? No, sir. Unfortunately, it's a no smoking building. So, okay.
you here? <laughs>
gold
kill somebody. Oh. Let me get the wear self coat.
Everything common places, man. You fucking head. <sighs> Could have just told her to leave me alone. Okay, Haley. Stay right here. I just want to thank you again for being truthful. Okay, we have just to let you know we have we locate her. Okay, um, we'll walk you over and then I'll um, I'll I'm gonna go talk with the family. Um, and you're right, you did have a the, the one for the driving, but it's, it's just a local tape. Um, so, this, the deal from here is you'll um, be booked in tonight, and then you'll uh, make the first appearance um, tomorrow, depending on what time you get in or how full they are. It'll be first thing in the morning or the afternoon. Probably the afternoon at this time is what I'm thinking. Um, and then at that point, 
you'll um, you know get to see the judge, and then you'll be assigned a, an attorney. Um, and, but tonight you should be able to make your piece about a phone call. Okay. Um, Did do you, you need to ask me? You, yeah. I, I, one other thing. I was going to. I just didn't want to bug you a minute ago. I was out there talking with her. One of the one of the things I wanted to find. Oh, thank you. Is y'all argued in the car uh, initially first. Did, was she starting to strangle you or put her hands on you in any way, or you and her, before you got out and did that to her tire? Or was that only after you got back in the car? It was after. After, okay. So none of that happened. Before it was just basically you telling her to leave you alone and she wasn't Just going alone. back and forth. Okay. About okay. The whole thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to clarify that for the state. Sure. All right.